Good morning, I've made it to school. I just want to give you all a tour of my classroom. So let's get started here. I gather up a lot of stuff to show for Hunter's Ed today. Make sure I have my keys. You know, typical every morning stuff. Get your keys. Lock myself out of my truck. So up here at school. So I think it's 6.30 a.m. Trying to get started, make sure I have a test made. Send that out on Google Classroom before the day gets started. So I'm walking in the shop. This is the shop where actually I went to high school. You can see here, it's an ag shop. So this is the woodworking side. Over there is the, um, what used to be welding area when I was in school. It is now gonna be the machining lab. I've got a milling machine right there. I've got a plasma cam table set up. Um, it's not fully set up yet. Over here in the corner, uh, well, before we get there, there's an air press I built while I was at Palestine. Pretty much all it does is it smashes, or is it, it smashes pipe. So we get um, tubing from Monroe or Kenneco, and we smash the ends of it to make it weld easier. So there's the woodworking area. And then right there is my powder coating machine. Um, I used to do a lot of powder coating when I first got here. Um, I haven't done much in a, in a while. Uh, there was not a high of a demand for it. When I started powder coating, when I came to tech, I guess four years ago, five years ago, it was before you could buy um, the Yeti style cups from Walmart that were pre-colored. They were just stainless. So everybody wanted them custom colors, so I, I was making them custom colors, and it was a really good business for the ag program. So you have the shop, this is the cold metal area, then you have the welding areas. Come over here. So actually, this welder right here, this Fronius, my welding team won that welder um, last February at the welding contest, so I'm super proud of that one the best welders I've been told have ever been built. They're out of Germany, okay? So we got that for free. And they got all their welding gear for free. Um, wire welding stations, stick welding stations. Here's our TIG machine with plasma cutter. Oxetylene stations, small engines. And yes, it, it's not pristine and clean in here because we do work in here. Uh, where, am I, where am I going? Plumbing station, storage room, electricity. So that's that's the shop. Oh, we have a, see down a dark, creepy hallway. We have a basement where we have storage. When I was in school, that was um, small engines. So the building has changed a little bit. So when it, the high school left from here, it became um, the junior high ag again, just one classroom. And then my first year here, let's see if I'm not new down again. My first year here was the first year for the new addition being built. So I was I had a class, two classrooms in the new addition. This is the FFA office. And this is my ag office. Yeah, it's it's pretty large because when I was in school, um, there was three ag teachers up here. So what I use this as is storage. I use this as a work area. Um, and I use this as an FFA boardroom and also the FFA alumni meets here. Now the COVID restrictions and COVID has kind of messed that up, but that's what I was doing last year. So this room right here is a place for kids to store their jackets and other stuff. Um, I let the kids come in here and study. It's also for storage. So this is just a room that kind of devoted to FFA, it gives them something that, uh, you know, they can be proud of, have to give them a place. So the FFA kids a place. Let's step into the classroom. So this is the classroom. I know I didn't clean it up for this video. This is just my everyday 
everyday classroom. And actually, it's two. This room right here was Mr. Rogers' classroom when I was in school, but we took the wall out, or well, maintenance took the wall out. That's the way it was originally designed in the 1950s, was to have a, a curtain petition wall right here. Well, to make this room function better, especially for the COVID restrictions spacing students out, um, we made the room a lot bigger. And these are the lab tables I put together. So these were science lab tables that were scrapped out of the science department. Um, and I took the bleachers that were scrapped out of the old junior high, finger, finger, that, that wood right there is old bleacher boards. That was the decking of the bleachers. Took that and some scrap lumber and built the cabinets and then set these lab tables on here. So as we use this area as a lab, students do sit here um, throughout the day so we can space them out six feet so they don't have to wear a mask. There's all the FFA plaques for the junior high. We have a lot more at the high school. And then there's my finger Alaska lynx that I have, speckle belly goose I have mounted, big deer up out on Prince Chapel Road, and there's my standing desk. Also, I scrapped out of a science lab table um, to make my standing desk. Because I think it works a lot better for the teacher to have a standing desk than to be sitting on the same level as the students. Okay, and you see a lot of, a lot of plaques, or a lot of, a lot of plaques and a lot of quotes around the wall. And then let's just go ahead and take a step out right here. And this is the outside of my classroom. So this is what kids see when they come to my class. Right there is the new addition in the library. That's where the old two-story building used to sit. Right there is um, the main building. Portable for cafeteria workers and parking lot. So that's a little tour of my classroom. Hey, it took me five years to get my name on the door. An actual plaque. Okay, so that's my classroom. I thought you might want to see it, um, especially for students that I might have in the future or my virtual students that have never seen my classroom. So there's my classroom. So have a good day. Keep making every toe push.